What's going on guys, Koreshino here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys an Herblore calculator that Iron DVS and I made. So, it primarily benefits Iron Men only, but you can still use it as a main even though you won't get as much benefit out of it. So, without further ado, let's just hop right into the calculator itself, and this calculator will be available down in the description, so go ahead and check it out there. But let's quickly talk about everything that's on the calculator itself. So we have multiple options here and text fields for you to fill out uh, information that portrays to the amount of uh, herbs and unfinished potions, etc. that you have banked. As well as buttons here to give you more detailed breakdowns of where everything's coming from. Uh, primarily a lot of you guys might be wondering about this secondaries button. So, huge thanks to uh, Lelalt and Situation for giving us the amount of secondaries that you collect per hour for all of these. Now, I was talking with Situation earlier about this. Uh, we're assuming that you might have the supersets banked already for the super combats. So you have a button here that will make it so that automatically counts your super combats as zero time. We also have a button here to make it so your limp words count as zero time for the super strengths as well as the regular strength and serum 207s. So you can check either one of those if you're going to either have the limps banked through Slayer or just already have them banked and also if you already have the supersets banked or will have them banked through other means. Uh, we also have bonus experience, uh, experience that really doesn't require any herbs, more or less just things that you kind of pick up along the way. Uh, the reason why we threw strengths and serums into this is because you get a lot of ashes from Cerberus and you'll get a lot of limpwurts through Slayer ever since the update. So you might have extras lying around that you might want to turn into uh, serums or strengths and we felt people might want to do that so we left that open there. Primarily though your experience for Terramins as far as grimy go will be calculated uh, through Terramintar that you'll be able to get Swamp Tar through Zolra so just keep that in mind. Now the primary thing that we're going to be doing here is we're going to be filling out this calculator with the amount of seeds and herbs and unfinished potions that I have sitting in my bank and I'm going to demonstrate to you guys exactly how it works and explain a few things along the way. So I'll be right back after I finish putting in all my information. Alright, so we finished putting in all of the information and as you can see we checked a few of the boxes and changed from anti-fires to extended anti-fires. So just to uh, point out a few things, I don't have any grimy herbs except for the placeholders which I don't get rid of. And I also added the clean dwarf weeds to the unfinished because that's what you're supposed to do. And since I am 99 farming, I have the farming cape checked. Now just to give you guys a bit of an idea of what the farming cape does for you as far as experience goes for herb lore, if I uncheck this and I calculate my XP really quick, I have 2,123,252.92 herb lore experience without the farming cape. If I check the farming cape, however, it goes up to 2,163,000. So it's a fairly nice increase. Uh, farming cape does make quite a difference, as well as deciding which potion you're going to be making. If I went ahead and I decided to make Zamorakian Bruise, which would take me more time to collect the secondaries, but it would give me more experience, I would end up with about 3k extra experience. Not really worth it, so I'm going to stick with Super Combats. And if I didn't feel like collecting Lava Dragon Scale Shards, I could just go with regular Anti-Fires, which will change my experience by quite a bit. Uh, if I had the Potato Cactus or wanted to go collect it, I would raise my experience up a bit. But we're just going to stick with Extended Anti-Fires because those are nice. So in total we have 2,163,023 8 experience banked uh, worth of herb lore supplies in the bank right now. So you might be wondering what these detailed breakdowns over here are about. If I go ahead and click the seeds information it will tell me 
all of the information about my seeds, how many herbs I'm going to receive on average from each of these seeds. So from the torstal seeds that I have banked, I will receive about 136 torstal herbs, uh, 656 dwarf weeds from the seeds that I have there, and so on and so forth. So it's pretty nice. It even tells you the amount of experience that you'll get from cleaning these herbs which is pretty nice. If I go ahead and I click the grimy information, since I don't have any grimy herbs uh, entered in here, all of these are zero by uh, default, but if I added any information into here, it would tell me the amount of experience that I have and how much total experience I have worth of grimy herbs. If I went ahead and I checked the unfinished info, it would tell me all of the information about the unfinished potions that I currently have sitting in the unfinished slot here. Uh, just in the unfinished potions, I have 1,684,305 experience just sitting in unfinished potions in my bank right now. So it just puts a major perspective as to how much experience I'm going to be getting from these seeds right here that it will take me roughly about four days to grow. So it's pretty nice. Uh, if I go ahead and I click the secondaries here, it will tell me that I need to spend about 47 hours, 45 minutes, or 47.75 hours collecting Herblore secondaries. And if I go ahead and click the uh, bonus experience info, it will tell me how much experience I'm going to be, re be receiving from these uh, Weapon Poison++ plus plus as well as the Serum 207s or regular Strength Potions. So it's very nice. It took a couple days to develop. It's a fairly simple program, but uh, DVS and I weren't spending all of our time working on it. But uh, I am very satisfied with how it turned out, and I hope you guys get as much use out of it as I've already gotten out of it, and I hope you guys find it as enjoyable as it was for us to make it. So, again, the link for the calculator will be down in the description, and special thanks to Iron DVS for helping create this and also special thanks to Lel Alton situation for the information about the secondaries. So I'll see you guys in my next video with the progress video number uh, 45 I believe we're on.